We're here in Aguas Calientes and we've messed up. It's all going on. It's all going on. All right, we messed up. We didn't research where we're going. If you watch the channel often, you know we never research where we're going. So we've turned up here and they have got strikes on. They're basically fighting against privatization of the area. So that the, the Minister of Culture is trying to privatize all of this Machu Picchu stuff, the transport and everything. So they've just gone on strike, they've cut, shut the whole thing down, apart from actually getting into Machu Picchu. We can get in there still at the moment. The people here are on an indefinite strike. That is zero transport to and from the town, no trains, no buses. Zero transport to and from Machu Picchu. You have to walk if you want to get up there. Zero guides up at Machu Picchu. But tomorrow, the Minister of Culture is coming here. There's going to be mad demonstrations on. We need to go and get a ticket to get up to Machu Picchu because if it goes back, if the negotiations go badly with him tomorrow, they're going to shut this whole place down and we're not going to get to get up there. So we need to book our ticket today. We need to go there early, first thing tomorrow morning before the Minister even gets here and try and get out of here before it all kicks off because, yeah, tensions are rising. So this is it. It's a pretty serious thing here because these people rely on the tourism and rely on the um, rely on the work, you know? And if they privatise it, the company's gonna come in with all their men and they're just gonna take over the whole thing and these people could be left, you know, they're probably gonna have to move out, move elsewhere. This is what happens, isn't it? It's like we saw very similar things in, uh, in Laos. Big companies built dams and it completely killed the, uh, the livelihood of the local fishermen in the rivers and they all had to leave. They just abandoned all their boats everywhere. It's cr crazy. Now, the interesting thing about this is that yes, if they privatise it, they can put the prices up. Which, put, which will put off a lot of tourists. And what they are talking about doing is closing down Machu Picchu altogether to tourism for a certain amount of time or forever to preserve it because it's getting ruined uh, by too much footfall up there and too many people messing around or whatever. Tourism, you know. Tourism is damages beautiful areas and historical sites, it just does. Uh, but they, are, they have been talking about doing that for a while. So this might be their way of still getting a decent amount of money from people who do want to see it and who do want to pay uh, and having less footfall up there uh, to pr help preserve it so could be a double-edged sword here and these people are unfortunately stuck on the arse end of it in our defense we were in the mountains when this all kicked off 25th of january is when this all started we were way up in the mountains there's no not really any internet there's no nothing up there there's no nobody said anything to us about this we literally just got here saw everybody was walking out of the town towards uh, hydroelectrico where we came in and then we got here and it's just a complete ghost town there is absolutely nobody here look Most of the businesses are closed down, or at least for now. And the restaurants that are open, a lot of the stuff is off the menu. They're not getting any supplies here, they're not doing anything. Everything is getting completely shut down. It's just very eerily quiet, isn't it? Very. It's very quiet. There's a lot of police presence as well. There's a lot of cops here. For we, you to we saw, yeah, I think they're all getting ready for tomorrow. There was, we saw loads, um, loads of police run past with riot shields last night. We were like, oh, what the hell's going on here? And then obviously now we've learned. Look at this. Big marketplace. All closed. Looks like it. It's all barricaded off. It's all closed. Very eerie. Well, will we learn our lesson this time to research an area before we turn up? Probably not.
This did all start on the 25th and we've been in the mountains doing the Sao Cante trek. Those videos are coming soon. I just thought I'd get this one out there because there's probably gonna be a few of you wondering if Machu Picchu is still open, what's it like here, is anywhere open, is anything going on? So I thought I'd just quickly get this one out there to uh, let you guys know that they are talking about shutting the whole place down. So hopefully the meeting goes well tomorrow and that doesn't happen. But as it stands, it's looking pretty bleak here to be honest. Oh, there's a, um, there's a Banco de la Nacion here. Anybody who doesn't know, that's a great ATM to go to. That's the only one I, I go to. You can get out 400 soles per day, no fees. Well, we checked ourselves into a little boutique hotel. $50 a night for two people, it's costing us. And we are the only guests there. There's no one else there. Yeah, so he's put doing on breakfast and everything just for us, which is a bit of a strange experience. It just feels really eerie. There's no one here. Mad. <laughs> Look at this dog. That's a Peruvian dog. Right, this this is where you need to go to get your tickets for Machu Picchu, right? Success. We managed to get our tickets. Uh, we got to, managed to get our two tickets for 8 a.m. tomorrow. Usually there's a massive queue there and you've got to get there early so you can get circuit one or two. Two, two is the best one, we, we got circuit two. But she didn't really seem to care what circuit we did. Apparently it's real relaxed up there because there's no one up there. You just walk around wherever you want. There's no guides, there's no nothing up there. So it's a bit. It's gonna be a bit of a weird experience. Um, I, will, I will film it, but I'm not gonna to know too much about the place because there's no guides to show me, but it'll be cool for me to see anyway. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. Anybody who needs to know anything about the situation here that I could possibly help with, then I will. Uh, just message me on Instagram and I'll, I'll help you out with anything you need to know. And I know the uh, the media and all that are saying, oh, it's all dangerous here, and tensions are rising, skirmishes are possible. Hey, those people are so friendly. And they're friendly as well because, you know, we're the tourists that they're trying to provide a service for that their jobs are potentially being taken away. So th th there's no hostility towards tourists or anything like that. So you don't need to be worried about that. The only thing you need to be worried about is if they do close down Machu Picchu altogether in retaliation to the protests. But only time will tell. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, yeah, so that's it from me. I'm going to go make this video and uh, relax. Peace out, people.